Hi, and uh, before we get into this, I've remembered. Someone wanted to see a size comparison between uh, this Humphrey Decepticon's Deluxe Ironhide to see how it scaled with the uh, Studio Series figures. So here he is with Dina. Uh, Studio Series 62 Revenge of the Fall and Satellite Soundwave. And for funsies, more Bumblebee movie uh, thrust. So he's not that much bigger than Dino. He's roughly the same kind of size as Soundwave. So it's... I always thought Ironhide was bigger than that, so take from that what you will. I'll review him as well at some point. And him, Belucius. I will. I will. I'm just saving him for a special occasion, because he's cool. Uh, go back to the other you. Okay, get onto the subject matter. It's a quick one, because, again, I'm still trying to catch up from just being me, really. Direct Hit and Power Punch. Direct Hit and Power Punch are an updated version of MicroMaster's Direct Hit and Power Punch. Uh, I think <clears throat> people were trying to say they had different names, but ITF wiki them and I couldn't find it. Uh, this is from the Siege line. They're trying to call it like Generations War for Cybertron, blah 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 blah. Siege, okay? It's just to make life easier. And they are pretty cool. I got this for eight quid. Eight quid! And uh, it's just a giant weapons platform. There's a little gun on top there. There's the giant gun here. That's about it. Now, they do have a weapon mode. <coughs> which I'm going to show quickly just to get it out of the way. So here we've got <coughs> Air Razor. And what you do is you use that tab into the bottom of the barrel, just so it locks into place, and turn it over. And that's supposed to be like a bazooka or something, with these four barrels. They're a little more like fans. So, I don't know, maybe it blasts ice or something. You can... Plug that into the hand. I can... It's not the selling point, okay? It's it's not... It's nice that they can do it, but... Let's not worry too much. Okay, and uh, you can separate them. Uh, this has actually got a little flip-down peg with a weapon effect thing. I don't care about that. And that folds up, so it sort of hides... So you've got this little armoured car kind of thing, with a little turret on the top. I'm not sure it can turn, but it's got a gun on top, so it can drive around. Now you've got this thing, which... I don't know if they're supposed to be... I don't know if that's supposed to be cameras or something, but... It can drive around. I mean, you, you can do it. It's a thing. <coughs> so, for size comparison... No, 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 fold that down. For size comparison, Golden Disc Pterosaur. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that soon as well. Um, if you've been good. So it's definitely... It, it's the size of a little mini candy kind of It's not the size of oh, original MicroMasters, don't be wrong. I should have bro broke some of those out for this review, but... It's quite small. So we should transform it, so we'll split them into the two again. And um, just for argument's sake, you can actually... Plug that into someone's hand, and you can plug that into the hand, if you really want to. It's, it's, it's a thing you can do, I'm just, I'm just giving you the options. Let's transform them, so... <coughs> oh yeah, sorry, I should probably name them. Uh, this is Power Punch, and this is Direct Hit. I would have had no idea if I didn't TF Wiki them, like honestly, no clue. But this is Power Punch, because it has a powerful punch, and this is Direct Hit, because... Um, it is. Uh, Character-wise, uh, apparently he's quite a good soldier. And he got promoted to like the head of the team. And is way out of his depth. Doesn't know what he's doing. Has no ability to plan ahead. But won't admit it. And doesn't realise how bad, like how in over his head he is. And Power Punch is his bestest friend. Is a tough guy. And is an absolute moron. So he doesn't realise how stupid he is. 
And that's made me really endeared to them. I, I really like them now. It's like, ah, they're idiots, but they're friends. Ah. Sorry, I, I should finish this review. I've got a, I'm expecting a phone call soon. Okay, so let's transform direct hit first. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it upside down. Do you know how it transforms yet? Yeah. I'm going to pop the arms loose. Pop the arm loose. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a slot in there that goes onto a tab here. And then we're going to wriggle them down. There's a little hinge. That pinky purple part is hinged with the ball joint for the shoulder. So just hinge that down a little bit. Now we get this front section, and they're on the ball joint here. You actually bring this whole piece as well. Bring that all the way over and through. Then fold this. Okay, do it one at a time. Fine, see if I get... Ugh, fold them inside. Split. And you don't have to do this, but for the weapon mode, you can see the heads if you don't. You can turn the head around. And that's that's adorable, really, isn't it? Let's have a quick look at the old noggin. It's not amazingly well painted, but it's well detailed. It's quite cool. Yeah, for the size of it, I'm not going to complain too much about the paint, as long as it looks all right. Nice little Decepticon symbol, purple on the body. Tutties are a bit gappy, but they're fine. They work. Arms are all right, you know. Nothing's right home about, but they work. Um, these hips don't pop off. This is the most well-held-together set of any of these I've got. I've only got four, and this is the best by far. And, uh, yeah, uh, has he got a waist? No, but it's, it's fine. He doesn't need one. Absolutely dandy. And he, he's lovely. Honestly, he's, he's just a really nice little robot. Power Punch. Okay. Power Punch. We're going to get this whole back section and fold it through. And these gaps are for the framework of the turret hinge. We'll just peg that down and straighten that out there. So the weird barrel things are on the front of the shins. It's fine. Untap his... Arms. <clears throat> These are a lot tighter. I don't know if there's just... <clears throat> getting them in, uh, getting them off is easier than trying to... like. <clears throat> it's, it, it fights me, this one. Right? So, same thing. Hinge to bring the shoulder down. It just gives it a bit more freedom so you can rotate it around. Do that side. Split the legs and... With a bit of effort, you can turn the head around. And again, the head's really nothing to write home about. But it's fine, you yeah, know, the chest looks nice. Decepticon symbol, you know. Arms are okay. Legs are a bit lumpy but you know there's some sort of vague foot defined there and he's fine he's all right he's good he's got the big bum hanging off the back sadly i wish there was a way to like fold that around but honestly he's okay so there we go there's the two of them <coughs> and for a size comparison let's bring air razor back in and yeah they're dinky they're really really small but they're supposed to be the MicroMasters. That's the whole point. They're supposed to be small. And they're adorable. Honestly, they're really cool. Um, the only set I'd have picked up over these, if they had them there, would have been the Space Shuttle, which I think's Decepticon. The Space Shuttle looks gorgeous. But these guys are still, like, top tier. And they hold together really well. So I guess I should give you a couple more size comparisons, because, you know... So there's Pterosaur again, because they're the same mould, that's why I picked those. Well, mostly the same mould. Get Dino in. Uh, yeah, they're, they're small, they're dinky, they're cool. The combined weapon mode is a throwaway, but you can use it if you want. If you like it, great. But the combined mode's cool. The individual vehicles are, eh, they're fine. But the rope mode's great. Like I say, even his hips... They aren't popping off. It's always the hips that pop off. These are holding like champs. So, great set. Honestly, really good set. <coughs> and I'm going to scarper because I want to do a couple of things. 
I was going to do an extra video tonight, but I'll just do it tomorrow. It'll be fine. So, it's still technically Wednesday. This counts. So, I should be ugly. I should be wretched. And I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye-bye.